Hey, hey, Hector. Hey, Breakout Studios. Ready for some flow. I like that. Sorry. Was running in from another place. Y'all are doing well. Happy Friday. Anyone first time that joins us, my name is Nicholas. Welcome. Oh, thank you, Hector. Um, same spiel as always. So if you've done, you know. But um, again, doing what works for you, modify what you need, take breaks when you need. Um, and sometimes, I guess, if things don't make sense, how to modify I try to give as many options as I can as we go. But just remember, chill. Take a seat. Take a moment. It is a gorgeous Friday. The sun is out this morning in L.A. The, like, difference in my mood of waking up when it's not overcast, I just, like, I love it. I don't know if that's the same for you guys, but literally, I woke up and, like, I had a client early this morning. I like popped out of bed. I was like, oh my gosh. Walked outside. The sun was shining. I loved it, loved it, loved it. Um, so anyway, it's a good Friday. That being said, I hope you all are having a great week. Um, I don't have any announcements. That's kind of it. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to do some stuff with the hips, opening up a little bit more. Um, so yeah, so that being said, let's go start nice seated position. Crossing out our shins. <clears throat> All right, as we sit, nice and tall, go ahead and take your hands. You can rest them on your thighs, palms up, palms down, whatever feels better for you, palms down, a little bit more grounding, palms up, Friday party time, a little bit more energy, so you decide. Um, when we're seated like this too, and as we get a little deeper into it, just make sure that you're not sinking into your back, into your lower back. So propping yourself up on a pillow, on a blanket, on a yoga block, if you have one, awesome, do it. Um, just to get that nice length through your spine. Taking a moment here, soften your shoulders, lift your heart. Feel free to close your eyes in your space, wherever you are, on your mat. Just taking a moment, settling in. As you deepen your breath, breathing in your Friday morning. And whether I realize you are watching this at live Friday or whenever it suits you, whatever time works for you, whatever energy you're carrying, whether it be morning, night, maybe it's not even Friday for you. Just acknowledge what your day has brought you, what you walked into your practice feeling, whether that be physically or emotionally. It's a nice understanding that all of that impacts our practice, our focus. So even if just taking the time to sit and breathe helps you center yourself, take time, sit and just breathe. Just be aware. Can you feel, can you hear the inhales? And same thing, as you exhale, can you feel the breath? Even the body, the lungs being emptied. Just making that conscious decision to slow things down. Even if it's just for a bit of the practice, for however long you join me. Settling in. A couple more rounds of breath here. Taking a nice deep inhale through your nose. 
Out your mouth, let it go. Two more deep breath in. And release. One more deep breath in. And release. And see if you can just gently press your lips together. Without clenching your jaw, without pushing your tongue to the roof of your mouth. And on your next exhale, gently lower your chin towards your chest, softly bow your head. And whatever your goal, whatever your focus is for your practice, setting that for however long the practice works for you, trying to really focus and zone in on that intention, allowing just other thoughts that are flooding the mind just to leave, even if it's for just this short time together. And when you're ready, gently begin to open your eyes, bring your gaze back up to neutral. Good morning, hello, break out. Go ahead and take those hands next to your hips. Soften your shoulders down, and from here, go ahead and flip your right palm up towards the ceiling. Take it all the way up towards the sky, and bring it on over. Now, without letting that right hip lift up off the mat, pressing that hip down, and just get a nice big stretch over, a nice big reach. Now, same thing here with the shoulder. Without letting that right shoulder be way up by the ear, soften the shoulder down. Take another inhale. And exhale. One more round here, inhale. Exhale. Bring yourself back up to center, and go ahead and gently switch. Flip your left palm, and as you exhale, take it up and over. Whoo, breathing into those side ribs. Now you're welcome to keep the gaze neutral and forward. You can take it down, you can take it up, whatever feels better for you. Just that nice big reach into those side ribs as the shoulders soften down away from the ears. Two more. One more round of breath here. And then bring yourself all the way back up. Find that lift, find that length, and nice gentle twist. Right arm, take it over your left thigh. Now use your left hand behind you. Don't sink down into that lower back. Lift up as much as you can as you exhale. Take the twist, take the rotation. Keep that broadening. As you lengthen, keep reaching the heart up. As you exhale, keep rotating. Two more here. One more round of breath. And then back to centering, just go a nice little switch again. Just starting to warm up that spine here. Now remember, it is a vinyasa-based practice. So vinyasa, we will be bringing in some heat with the flow. Again, skip what you need, do what you can, rest when you need. No shame in taking a child's pose ever. If that's what your body's telling you, do it. If you need to modify it, you do it. Um, we're working towards a different arm balance today, a little fun with this one. Um, again, none of it to be stressful, uh, much of it to be pretty challenging, just bringing in different challenges, different fun, why not? A variety of stuff. So as we go, just keep that in mind. Do what you can. Bring yourself back to center. One last round here, go ahead and flip the palms up. Just get a nice big reach. And again, check. Are you carrying your weak way up here into your shoulders, into your upper traps? Can you soften your shoulders down? Whew, lengthen the neck. It is the weekend. Take a nice deep inhale. Exhale, gently lower, or almost, for those of us still slightly having to distance with our jobs. It's the weekend every day. Go ahead and bring yourself forward. Go ahead and bring those wrists underneath your shoulders. Bring your knees underneath your hips, hugging those elbows back, drawing that belly in, and just take a few rounds. Inhale, pull the heart forward as you lengthen. Exhale, draw that belly in. Go ahead and round. And again, keep moving. Inhale, forward. And... Exhale, chin to chest. We'll just a couple more here. Just getting into our cat cow. Again, getting that mobility, that movement into our spine. One more round here. And bring yourself 
all the way back to neutral. Now we're gonna go right into our lunge from here. Rather than down dog, I want you to step your left foot forward and then go ahead and set it up. If you need to flip your mat, add a little bit of padding under that knee, go for it. And then as you bring your right knee over your right ankle, pausing here, send the heart forward. Now keep that nice, like just start to feel the hip open up here. Without just releasing through the core though, see if you can draw your hip bones up, getting a little bit more support through the center to allow the stretch to get a little bit deeper. Taking one more inhale here. And exhale. And go ahead and take your time. Gently walk your hands. Now you're going to press up to your thigh. So using the arms, gently press yourself up. Keep lifting up and then setting the tailbone down. Again, open up through your hips. Now, the support here, the center, you're going to maintain as you lift up. I want you to shift your weight back. So see how my hips are in front of my left knee right now? I want you to shift back so that your hips... And as I turn profile, your hips should now be aligned over. So of course, I have my hips pressed pretty far forward. It just depends on your flexibility. But if your hips are already here, awesome. Align hips right over your knee. From here, I'm gonna take the foot out just a little bit wider to the side. We're gonna take our right hand and I want you to reach it down towards the mat. Make sure there's a connection here with your arm and leg. Pressing that right hand down and then just very gently go ahead and open that left arm up towards the sky. So a little bit of rotation here, that twist. Opening up through those side ribs as you press the palm down. Up broad in here, you can take the gaze up, you can take the gaze down. So this is ideally our side angle pose. It's a great modified version. We'll usually do it from a warrior two. I've never actually taught it like this here. But remember, another great option as we go. If from warrior two it's too much, you drop that back knee and go here. Take one more inhale. And then as you exhale, go and gently release your left hand, pausing here. Now, pull the heart forward. And feel free to scoot your foot a little bit more forward again, shifting those hips just slightly forward. And then as you exhale, go and give me a little length through that front leg just to wake up the hamstring a little bit more. Inhale forward. Exhale back. And two more. And back. And one more here. And back. And then go ahead and bring yourself up again. Go ahead and step your right foot back. Go and step your left foot forward. Ooh, now, same thing. Start with just that nice reach here. So pushing the hips forward. And again, it's your hip mobility. So if those hips aren't going away past the knee, that is fine. Go where it works for you. With those palms planted, with the shoulders off, try not to let it be here into the upper back, the upper shoulders. Find length. Hugging that left outer hip back. Taking two more rounds of breath here. Now again, our focus right now is to get that opening through that right hip flexor. So taking your time, no rush, as you walk your hands up. Now again, if hips are in front of that right knee, great. But get the lift through the belly, soften the shoulders down, just that opening here through the chest, broadening two more rounds. One more round of breath. And then go ahead and take your time, gently begin to lift up. Now, what I'm doing again here is I'm shifting my weight back over. So my weight is on my right knee, my hips are stacked over my knee. And then from here, I'm bringing my left hand down to the mat. Now connect your knee and your shoulder or your arm are touching and then take your right arm up. So there's that connection. You don't want too much of that separation here with the legs just kind of out to the side. It makes it challenging for other poses that we'll get into later. You want to feel that nice connection Arm to leg, leg to arm, taking one more round of breath here. And then as you exhale, gently release. Now, again, a lot of adjustment with the feet here, but again, with the feet, but just trying to make sure that our alignment is set. So reach that foot forward again, pressing those hips forward as you inhale. And then as you exhale, go ahead and shift back, get a little flex in the foot, a little length. And again, shifting forward. And bring it back. And two more. And back. And one more here. And back. And then go ahead and bring your foot all the way down. Go ahead and step your left foot back. Pause in here. And then go ahead and tuck your toes. Let's take it all the way to down dog. Our first round, now that we've got those hips starting to warm up, feel free to get a little bit more into those hamstrings, into the back of your legs, a little pedaling. 
Now gently press the heart down, planting your palms, pressing it. The tips of those fingers right into the mat. Gently release through the neck, through the jaw. And then from here, soft bend through your knees. Go ahead and start to walk your hands all the way back toward your feet. Now we're moving towards the back of your mat. Have a nice deep bend in your knees. Let your head release. Again, a gentle nod, yes. Gentle shake, no. And then with that nice soft bend through your knees, take your time, slowly roll yourself up one vertebra at a time. Going right up to stand. Now standing from the back of your mat, feet about hips width, maybe a little bit wider, soft bend through your knees. Take your arms up and overhead. As you exhale, drop your right hand, reach your left arm up and over. Nice big side stretch. Feel free to open up that heart a little bit more, a little bit more length as you pull through that side waist, taking one more inhale. And exhale. Inhale brings you back to center. And go ahead and switch sides, left hand towards that leg. Right arm up and over, nice big side stretch, shoulders soft. And then go and bring yourself all the way back to center. Now, ideally we're trying to interlace all 10 fingers. And then without hyperextending and locking the elbows out. And see, even as I did that, I pushed my ribs forward. So keep a soft bend through your elbows, but soften your shoulders down. You can use a towel here if the hands don't interlace. Now soft bend through your knees. Lift your heart. And with that soft bend, gently release your chest down towards the mat. Let the head drop down. And feel free again, a gentle nod. Yes. Gentle shake, no. Taking it a little bit more into the shoulders. Again, maybe a little side to side action. And then from here, go ahead and gently release your hands. As you inhale, go ahead and shift forward, walk your hands back out into your downward facing dog. Inner thighs reaching back, strong through the legs as you inhale. Begin to shift forward, take your first plank pose. Now feel free to modify knees to the mat. Collarbones broad, belly lifted. Inner thighs reaching towards the sky. Take an inhale. Exhale, hips up and back. And again, inhale brings you forward. Exhale, up and back. And two more. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back one more round, just like that. Inhale. And exhale. Now this time, go ahead and float your right foot up to the sky. As you exhale, bring your foot all the way to the outside of your right hand and just pause here just for a moment. Now, without just letting the hips sink down like this, can you charge up the back leg and really lift? Power through your back leg, draw the belly in, broaden the collarbones, reach your heart forward. Pressing down firmly into the palms, take another inhale. And exhale. And step it all the way back, inhale. Switch sides, your left foot is gonna come all the way to the outside of the left hand. And pause, same thing here. So this really wide stance here. But again, remember that thing where I said earlier about the connection of arm to leg? Hug your knee in towards your arm. Broaden through the collarbones, pull your heart forward, lift the belly up, power up through the back leg, take another inhale. And exhale. And go ahead and shift it all the way back. Pause in here, reset. A little pedal, a little wiggle. Inhale, brings you forward. Find your plank. Knees up or down, your choice. Lower all the way onto your belly. Now remember, we're lowering in one piece. So if you need to bring the knees down, go for it. Hands right next to your ribs, elbows hugging in. Let's keep it low to start. Inhale, lift the heart, soften your shoulders away from your ears. Tailbone, reach it towards your heels. Now taking your hands, gently hover. Fire up the upper back. Keep the heart reaching forward. Keep sending your tailbone towards your heels, taking one more inhale here. Exhale, gently release. And again, inhale, send your heart forward, pause. Shoulders soft away from the ears, take another inhale, bringing those hands up. Exhale, gently release. One more round, just like that, nice and light. Inhale, pause for the exhale. Next inhale, hover your hands. Exhale, gently release, and from here, gently press back onto your knees. Tuck your toes. Now, same thing with the legs again. I want you to inhale, float your right leg up. 
Exhale, step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Pause here, don't sink the hips. Keep the belly lifted, reach the heart forward, pause. Now from here, hug your elbows in. Can you take just a slight little bend of those elbows? And then exhale, lift. Two more, just like that, little push up. Now you have that front foot helping to support, so you can use it to press. One more round. And bring it up, step it all the way back. Pause here. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, bring your foot to the outside. Pausing here, connect, broaden. Now, I do have a lot of weight in this front leg. Again, remember my back leg is still charged. Yes, the arms are gonna work, they have to. Weight is on them. But hugging those elbows in, go where you can. Inhale, exhale, a little bit. Inhale, lift, exhale, bend. And again, lift, exhale, bend. Reaching yourself up, go ahead and shift back. Downward facing dog, take a nice deep inhale. Out your mouth, let it go. Inhale, bring you forward. Knees up or down as you exhale, lower onto your belly. Now this time, keep your hands planted as you inhale, broaden, shoulders soft. Belly lifted towards that spine, so don't just let the belly push towards the mat. As you find that lift, it's not about this, it's about the lift through the heart, tucking your toes, inner thighs reach up and back. Downward facing dog. Take a nice deep inhale. Exhale out your mouth. Inhale, come onto your toes, look forward. Bend your knees and feel free. It's our first little step forward. Go ahead and walk it. Now go ahead and bring your toes all the way together at the top of your mat. A soft bend in your knees as much as you need. Letting the heart and head release down. Lift your shoulder blades up. Inhale, press into your shins, come halfway up. Long spine, exhale, fold. Two more, inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. And one more, inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Arms overhead, stand tall. And exhale, hands all the way to your heart. All right, yogis, keep those hands at the heart, belly lift. Take your chair pose, send those hips back. Now we're just gonna keep adding more heat. So any of my friends that need a moment to pause, to breathe, chill. Take a second, jump back in when you can. Belly's lifted, hips are reached back, weight into the heels. Take just the arms, float them up. Shoulders soft away from your ears. Keep your breath flowing, taking one more inhale. Exhale, gently fold. Inhale, reach halfway. Step your left foot back, let's set up for crescent pose. Back heel stays lifted now in crescent, a soft bend through the back knee. As you reach the heart forward, inhale, lengthen. Float the arms up, get that nice lift, soften your shoulders away from your ears, belly lifts up towards the spine. Now see if you can sink, keep sinking those hips a little bit deeper. Two more breaths. One more round of breath here. And as we exhale, let's go and take it into our first warrior two. Hands to heart. Now go ahead and drop your back heel. Back leg is now straight. It went from a softer knee for crescent because the heel was lifted. Now the heel's on the mat. So straighten that back leg. Walk your front foot in just a bit and send the inside forward. Now just here for that first warrior two, release and extend. Press the palms down. Lift the heart up. Lift the belly up. Now it should get heated here. Sometimes we get a little irritated here because you're working so strongly through the legs. Don't let the thoughts get the best of you. Use your breath. Control. Even here in your warrior two. Strong, powerful warrior. Two more. One more round of breath. And as you exhale, take your time. Go and gently release. Now pause. Take your right foot. We're going to walk it to the side. Left heel will lift. Plant your left palm down, just take a nice twist. Just open up that right arm. Woo. Soften your shoulders from your ears. One more round of breath. Exhale, gently lower, take your gaze forward, bend your back knee, hop it all the way up. Let's come to standing, inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, chair, hands to heart, hips sink back, collarbones broad. Maybe floating those arms up and overhead on your next inhale, bring it all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Hips sink back, arms float up. 
Pause for the exhale. And again, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Step your right foot back. Now soft bend through your back knee. Send your heart forward, broaden through your collarbone. Float your arms up. Now nice deep bend through the front leg. Get that front knee over the ankle. Belly lifted. Tailbone reaching down. Shoulder soft. Two more rounds of breath. Notice your thoughts. Notice tension through the fingers, through the jaw, through the neck. One more inhale here. Exhale, gently release your hands to heart. Drop your back heel. Now back leg is straight. Front heel to back big toe. Send that inner thigh forward and then extend. Pressing down. Find a nice lift and length. Warrior two. As those hip bones keep lifting up, keep sending your tailbone down. Keep extending and lengthening. Feeling grounded into your space. Broadening along the chest. Calm with your breath. Two more. One more round. Exhale, gently release. Now pausing here. Send your right hand down. Flip your left arm up. Take your twist. As you work through that broadening. Nice rotation. We're going through a vinyasa this time. Your next exhale. Gently release your hand down. Plant your palm. Step back. Shifting your heart forward. Exhale, lower. Inhale. Lift as our shoulders get nice and soft away from the ears. And up and back. Nice deep inhale through the nose. Out your mouth, let it go. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, right foot to the outside of your right hand. So again, that wide stance. Ooh, hug your knee in. Broad and pull your heart forward. Now again, just a moment, just plant it here. One, one little push up as you lower it down and then pressing back up, pause. Feeling that lift through the belly. Now see if you can start to lift that right heel up off the floor. So if you can't see from the frame, starting to press that right heel up. And then go ahead and keep pulling the heart forward. You're gonna shift back into down dog. And then bring that right foot all the way forward. Now between the hands. A little, little switch. Take your left heel, drop it all the way down to the mat. We're gonna go right into warrior two this time. Right heel, left big toe. Nice deep bend. Sweep the arm up. One now. Keep the belly lifted. Now keep reaching that inner thigh forward. Keep pressing the palms down. Lengthen up. Lift up, don't sink down into the waist. Lift up out of it, form to thigh. Now as you maintain that lift, again, for some of us this is enough, that's perfect, stay here. Remember our option to bring our back knee to the mat like we did at the beginning. Do that here, you can drop that left knee all the way to the mat. You're also welcome to just bring that hand all the way down. As we open up, now my arm and thigh are connected. As we take that broadening, that nice lift through our side angle pose, keep hugging your right hip back. Maybe that top arm up and over. And on your next inhale, taking your time, keep the bend, keep the fire through the legs, pressing your palms down, flip your front palm, reach it back, reverse. Shoulder stays nice and soft. Two more rounds of breath here. One more breath. As you inhale, bring yourself up. Now you're gonna straighten your front leg, Turn all 10 toes towards the left side of your mat. Now from here, as we adjust our toes, bring your heels in. Now from here, send your hips down. God is pose, lift the belly up. Gently release your hands towards the mat. Now we're gonna move towards our back leg, which should be our left leg. And you're gonna straighten your right leg and you're gonna send the hips down. Now for some of us, again, it just depends on your body. For some of us, that left heel is gonna lift. That's fine, keep your hands down, you can even put a prop, a towel, something under that heel. Ideally, we're trying to sink our hips down towards the mat and then the inner thigh up. So watch the front foot that it's not rotated like that, that the toes are actually pointed up, the knee is pointed up. Now, as you send your hips down, again, everyone's flexibility, mobility here is gonna be different. Maybe hands to heart. So it's that nice reach through the inner thigh, hugging the hip back. 
if it's not quite right for you to bring those hands up, keep that support, keep that lift. Try to keep it out of the shoulders, though. Two more rounds of breath. One more round of breath here. And then we're gonna gently take our hands all the way down to the mat, pause. Now, walking forward towards the top, walk the hands all the way up, take it into that lunge, reaching forward, Ooh. Send the heart forward, bend the back knee, step it all the way up. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Arms overhead, stand tall. Hands to your heart. Right ankle, bring it all the way across your left thigh. Let the knee drop down. Now a little flex through the foot, hip bones lift. Send those hips back. Ooh, my balance. There we go. <laughs> go and bring your hands to heart. I just fell over, I have no excuse for that. I don't know what happened there. Drawing those ribs in, softening those shoulders down. Now balance, again, is tricky. So if you need a table in front of you, a chair, a wall, again, find something that works for you. A nice little stretch into that right bum as well, opening up that right loop a bit more. Two more breaths. One more. Inhale brings you all the way up. And exhale, release. Whew. All right, yogis, let's float out. Inhale, flip the arms. Exhale, soft bend, dive. Inhale, halfway. Take it back, you can hop if you'd like. Going right into our vinyasa. If you practice up dog, flip the toes, the hips stay lifted. That nice broadening as you exhale. Hips up and back. Take a nice deep inhale. Out your mouth, let it go. And then go ahead and take your left foot, step it all the way to the outside of your left hand. So nice wide hands here with that hand. Keep broadening through the collarbones. Now again, hugging the knee in, pulling the heart forward. Charge that back leg. As you exhale, see if you can take a little bend and then reaching back up, find that nice lift. Sending the heart forward, taking one more inhale. Exhale, send you all the way back to your down dog. Hold for the inhale. Now that same foot, left foot comes all the way forward again. Step to the top. Drop your back heel all the way down to the mat. Heel to big toe, hugging the left hip underneath you. Windmill, warrior two. Right arm back, left arm forward. Planting your palms down. Now again, keeping that lift, hip bones lifted up, tailbone reaching down. You can start nice and light as you lengthen. Left arm down towards the thigh as you broaden, maybe that's enough. If not, maybe. And all the way down to the mat. Now remember our option. I didn't quite demo, but I did mention it on the other side. This back knee can always come down to help modify. So like we did before. So you decide. Now keep connection thigh to arm. Keep hugging the hips underneath. Keep softening the lower ribs in. Maybe rotate that top arm and keep reaching up and over. One more round of breath here. Inhale, brings you all the way up. Pause, keep the bend. Whew, I know we want to come out of it. Flip that front palm, take it back, reverse warrior. Breathing into those side ribs, keep sending that inner thigh forward, take another inhale. And exhale. Inhale, brings you back up. And lengthen. Ooh, that side was getting to me. Turn your toes towards the right side of the mat. Now draw your heels in. God is pose as you exhale, gently lower. Ah, she gently lower more mobile. Now from here, and again, depending on your range, feel free to have those toes a little bit more forward. Hands to heart, belly lifts. Gently send the hands down. Now send your left foot straighten out, and then send the hips down. Now, each side's gonna be different. I already know this side is whew, way tighter on you. Planting the palms, take your time, ease your way into it. Now, toes and knee are facing up. Inner thighs is reaching up. You don't want them to roll forward. That nice external rotation of those legs. Maybe hands to the mat. 
maybe hands to the heart. That nice lift, nice length. Two more breaths here. One more round of breath. And then go ahead and gently release your hands back down. Now taking your time, we're gonna slowly shift forward into that front leg. So you're gonna bring the foot down. And from here, go ahead and take it all the way into your lunge. Coming to the top of the mat. Pull the heart forward, take an inhale. And then a little hop up, bringing the big toes together. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Arms overhead, stand. And hands to heart. Second side with the leg, go ahead and bring your left knee up. Ankle across the thigh, gently let that knee drop down. And then go ahead and bend the right knee. Now, as you send the hips back, as you soften the ribs in, feel free to bring your hands to heart. Maintaining the length, space of the spine, a soft through the shoulders. Two more rounds of breath here. Inhale, taking your time. And slowly bring yourself up. And exhale, release. Awesome job, yogis. Go take those arms up and overhead. Inhale. Soft bend. Exhale, fold. Inhale, length. Either vinyasa, down dog, child's pose. Go where you need to. Inhale to lift and lengthen. If you're taking that back bend, soften through the elbows, broaden through the collarbones. Hips up and back. Take a nice deep inhale here. Out your mouth, let it go. And let's take a moment. We're gonna bring our knees down. We <laughs> are taking a child's pose. I don't usually go into too many child's pose. And again, not that it's a bad thing. I just, I try to do a lot in one class. So that's why I skip them. So I would say take them if you need them. But we are gonna move into something a little a little fun in a moment, so we're going to take a moment to take a child's pose to rest our arms. Letting the head drop down. Alright, go ahead and bring yourself up. Now, uh, I think it's going to be best if I turn dead on to the camera. So, we've been, I've been having you step your stance wide here, and I'm having you connect your knee towards your shoulder. So I want you to go ahead and do that. Now, feel free to keep that back knee here on the mat, but shift your hips forward like we did earlier. So what we're going for here, and we had that little push up, we're gonna go for that again, but what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to get the hand and the shoulder underneath the leg. So I'm trying to find the best angle so it seems to make the most sense. So like this, it's super awkward. I'm well aware. So. What I'm now doing is ideally we're trying to get that front foot to lift off the mat. So, with that back knee down and the legs are going to drop up and over that shoulder, as I lift, my foot starts to come up off the mat. And you start to play with it. So, remember how I talked about if you just kind of release the core, you don't want the pelvis to just be kind of heavy, dead weight. You want to feel that lift through the center, through the belly. As you press down as I engage, I start to float this right foot up. Now again, you take it where you can and start to lift the foot all the way up. Some of us, that might not happen today. That is fine. Taking time to play with it, to really reach that shoulder underneath. Maybe you're here. As you press, maybe just the heel. Maybe just the heel is lifting. Maybe you're starting to feel that you can get that front foot to start to reach forward. You can lower down a little bit into it. Take a couple of rounds with it on this side. Now, if you're finding like, whoa, it's a bit more challenging than I thought, it is, because there's a bit of mix here now. This is tapping into a little bit more flexibility if that leg goes under. So if you're just having a hard time getting that shoulder under, just focus on that. Just play with here, just getting shoulder underneath your leg. Taking a couple more rounds. You can even go as much as lifting the back knee up. If it's feeling okay, keep adding on to it. It does take you into a full balance. We're not going there today, just to play with it. After you've done a couple of rounds on that right side, go ahead and switch, set that right foot back, and send your left leg forward. Now again, yoga is not supposed to stress this out. Do not stress about the pose. If you're like, this is crazy, cannot do it, what are you talking about? Step it back for a moment. 
Take it into your lunge. Chill here. Pause in your lunge and just hold and breathe. Get a good hip stretch here and then focus on the support through the center. That works too. If you're like, all right, I got that. Let me take it a step further. Then work on bringing that shoulder underneath your leg and taking a moment to hug here. Pausing. Now again, if that's enough, stay here. Just play with this. All right, cool. If that's really okay, you take it a step at a time, the heel lifts. I go into the whole pose because I'm trying to show the end result. That doesn't mean that needs to be your end result today. It's just something to work towards. So maybe it's just the heel. All right, good, got it. Maybe, oh, we start to take that front leg and reach it up and off the mat. And again, you can even lower into it a bit to kind of help get that leg up off the mat. That strong chaturanga, those arms, those push-ups. That's why it's so important when we do chaturangas that you do it in one piece, even if that means your knees are on the mat because we're trying to build that core support, that core strength, so we can do fun things like this. Go ahead and take one more round. I just gave you guys a whole story, a whole spiel. Hop the back foot up. That's ideally where it can go into, but just playing with it. And when you're ready, go ahead and step your foot back and let's go and take a child's pose. Whew. Now check, where did your mind go during that? Where did the thoughts go, the focus? Bring it back here, onto your mat, into your space. Take a nice, deep inhale. Out your mouth, let it go. And then go ahead and shift yourself forward. And let's go ahead and balance it out. Awesome work. However it turned out, it does not matter. That's not the point. The point is breathe, have fun with it. It's just yoga. Go ahead and shift yourself up and back. Inhale, right leg floats. Exhale, knee to nose. Step your foot between your hands. Dropping your back heel down. Send that inner thigh forward as you inhale, windmill. Inner thigh forward, belly lift. We're just here for a moment. Our last rounds of warrior two. I love them. Again, they are powerful pose. They're so strengthening and so grounding. So learning to love a warrior pose, why not? Go ahead and straighten that front leg. Adjust, bring your back foot in just a little closer. Now engage, draw the kneecap up, reach out, shift forward. Now you decide to the shin, to the ankle, maybe to the mat and place them to the outside of that right foot. Don't push the ribs forward, draw the ribs in. Up, side, down are the choices for your gaze, you decide. Now if this is enough, you stay here. If you wanna go for that balance, half moon, I recommend hand to hip. I'm gonna scoot back so I can stay in the frame. Bend your front knee. Right hand stays to the outside of the right pinky toe. Try not to let your sh left shoulder fall forward. It's harder because then you have to readjust it when you're in the balance. Keep your shoulders stacked so that way you move forward in the position you need to be set in. Soft bend through the knee. Now if that left foot starts to pull way back behind you, see how my foot disappeared? Bring it forward. You should be able to glance down your body and see your toes. It's also a fun way to challenge your balance. Maybe left arm to the sky. Two more breaths. Ooh. One more round here. And exhale. My balance is all over the place today. Go ahead and bring your toes together. Inhale halfway. And exhale either into a vinyasa or straight back to downward facing dog. Take a nice deep inhale here. Out your mouth, let it go. Inhale, left leg floats to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose, step your foot between your hands. Go and set up for your warrior two, drop your back heel, hug your bum underneath you, and then go ahead and windmill. Swing that right arm back, send that left arm forward. Pressing down, inner thigh forward, hugging outer left hip back, taking one, more round of breath here, and then go ahead and extend. Bring your back foot in a little bit closer just to help with distance. That might feel better for you, more comfortable. As you hug that left hip back, lengthen, reaching either hand to the chin, to ankle, maybe all the way down towards that mat. Now zipping those ribs into the front. Don't do what I'm doing and look back like this. Keep the length forward.
taking your hand, bring it to your hip. Look forward. Bend your front knee. Keep your left hand to the outside of that left foot. As you press that right heel up, tailbone towards the heel, pause. Maybe right arm up to the sky. Again, don't let that foot fall way back behind you. Two more here. One more. And as you exhale, gently release. Go ahead and pause here at the top of your mat for just a moment. Inhale. Find your length. Either into your vinyasa or straight back to your downward facing dog. And what I was mentioning before about the chaturanga, in case it wasn't clear, you don't want to lower with the hips first. So, always feel free to modify. Try to do it in one piece. Because the more of that strength you can build, yes, it's arms, but it's also a lot of core. And we're trying to build that core because that's how you get better supported through every pose in yoga. But in particular, a lot of the balances. And let's go and bring your knees down to the mat. And go ahead and bring your legs out in front. All right, yogis. So, we're going to do something else a little fun today. If you happen to have a blanket, a block, a bolster would be ideal, which none of these props I have with me currently, um, they're in my car, uh, you can bring yourself up a little higher elevation just to bring yourself seated. So what we're going to do here is I want you to reach your left foot forward. If the hamstring is tight, you can always take a little bend. Um, but what we want to try to focus on, not too much of that sinking back, because it's going to happen naturally where we're headed here. So I want you to bring your right foot in, and you want to take a moment, just even feel free to even take hold of that ankle, just kind of give that hip a little a couple circles, just kind of opening. So we're going to get a little deeper into those hips, into those glutes here. So I want you to go ahead and bring your right foot, bring it into the hook of your left elbow. And kind of like you're cradling a, a baby, you're gonna bring the right arm, wrap it all the way around your right knee. Now, as I did that, because I was sinking back, I used this here to help pull me up. So really try to get that nice lift. So again, you should be feeling some glute. If that leg is straight, keep a nice little flex into your left foot here. Ooh, and just that little rock, even a little side to side, kind of like a single pigeon except for upright. So there are many ways. Sometimes the misconception is if I don't do a pigeon in single in a yoga class, did I do a yoga class? You did. There are many ways to get your hips to open, which is the same thing of like a pigeon. But I think everyone just feels a pigeon is like the miracle worker, which it is. Nothing wrong with it, but there are different ways to get there. So you can hold here. Now, if that's enough, stay. If you wanna have a little bit more fun, and you want to reach arms around here. So I've just looped here. Now, I start to take my foot toward, my hand towards the heel of my right foot. Now, if you did do one hand, great. Send your left hand behind you. Now here, I'm going to wrap back just a little bit. The goal is to try to get your leg wrapped around your shoulder again. So kind of like we did just on the floor, except now we're sitting. It's a different approach. Now, once you do that, see if you can press up a little bit and play with it. Ideally, yeah, you can go and straighten the leg, but just even focusing on that wrap. And if it feels funny, it feels weird, it just is like, it's really hard to get my leg up. That's, that's all right. It's not something that we do commonly. And I've never done it here uh, for breakout before. So, so taking a moment to see how that is. Grab it. My friend, you can go for that reach. Taking one more round of breath here. And then go ahead and gently release if you did bring the foot up all right go ahead and send that right leg forward let's switch it out bend your left knee and take a moment just take the heel the left hip now is aware of the expectations from the right hip but let's just let it open up just a little bit here and then when you're ready start with hooking your right crook your elbow around your left foot and then left elbow around that right knee. And then as much as you can sit tall. I actually love this variation the best. Again, because it is that pigeon feeling of getting into the piriformis, a nice stretch. So if you're just here and you're holding, you're hugging that thigh in, 
perfect. Stay here. Throwing that leg over the shoulder is just some fun extra added things to do. As you hug that leg in. Now, for some of us, it might even be a little bit more manageable or doable to reach around. This works too, just be careful about how much you're rounding into it. Really trying to keep that nice pull and lift. Two more rounds of breath here. Now, totally Yogi's choice. You can stay here. You can set the foot and release. If you want to take hold of that heel, and again, I know working that knee up and around the shoulder just to get that nice little stretch pulling up here. And this leg is much tighter on me than the other one, so this one is hard to get up and around. But just that lift, but the same feeling. Again, these poses are so connected, all of them. So noticing that when you do one pose, chances are it's mimicking another pose or very similar. It's just now we're sitting upright trying to do it to get that leg around. Taking one more round of breath here. And then when you're ready, no rush, taking your time. Go ahead and gently release and bring it down. Ooh. Finding your feet down to the mat. We'll open our here. Grounding those feet. Go ahead and turn your fingers in slightly towards the hips, bringing your hands back behind you. Take a nice inhale. Now take your time as you exhale. I want you to lift your hips up and just very slowly let the head drop down. Just a little squeeze through the hips. Taking one more round of breath here. And as you exhale, taking your time, go ahead and gently release. Woo. Shifting your hips back, going straighten your legs, bringing your ankles together, floating your arms up. As you exhale, go ahead and reach forward. And then as you inhale, pull the heart forward, soften your shoulders, and then keep lifting and lengthening as you exhale, gently fold. Two more here, inhale. Exhale. One more round. And taking your time, go ahead and bring yourself all the way up. And then go ahead and bring yourself all the way onto your back. As we start to come towards the end of our practice here, gently lowering down. Feel free to draw the knees in, give them a little hug. And when you're ready, send your left leg forward. As you exhale, our nice, simple spinal twist. Press your right shoulder onto the mat. Go and bring your right knee across your body. Gently pressing the right shoulder down and lengthen your right hip forward. Taking another round of breath here. back in hug your right knee hug your left knee and go ahead and switch right leg forward as you exhale pull in it across your body gently send that left shoulder all the way down onto the mat one more breath here Bring yourself back to center of your left knee, hugging your right knee. A little sway side to side. Take a nice inhale. Exhale, bring yourself all the way up into a little ball, pausing for a breath here. And as you exhale, take your time, allowing the legs to reach forward. You can allow the head to reach down towards the mat, palms will face up, gently hugging your shoulder blades slightly towards each other onto your back. As you settle here into the space, take a nice comfortable inhale. Exhale, gentle sigh. And allowing your body 
to move into Shavasana. Just for a few moments, finding stillness. Gently begin to deepen your breath and begin to bring movement back to your fingers, back to your toes, gently wiggling them. Reaching your arms over your head, take a nice big stretch. Bending your knees when your head you roll to your side. And your exhale will bring you all the way up to a seated position, crossing at your shins. And bring your hands together at heart center. And as you take a moment, ground yourself a little bit more space through the hips, a little bit more length through your spine, a lift through your heart. Closing with three strong breaths. Take a deep inhale. Out your mouth, release. Two more deep breaths in. And release. One more deep breath in. And release. Sealing in your practice, your work, your effort. Namaste. Yay! Thank you so much, yogis. A pleasure as always. Again, Nicholas here. If you have any questions, always feel free to reach out. Uh, let us know. Let break break out now. Um, but yes. Oh, there's a message. <laughs> those push-ups have a name. Uh, Chaturanga. The ones that we did with the leg, those... Um, with your leg on your shoulder. It's technically like, that's just a prep. So the reason why I did it that way, cause it's a prep to um, another pose, which would be uh, an arm balance. So um, the whole purpose of that is just trying to warm us up. So I kind of had a set into that of like, just getting ready to get um, down. I'm sure there might be a non-Sanskrit name. I'm sure there could be a name, um, but ideally we're trying to get the front leg up and then it heads to a balance where you can lift the back leg up. So I didn't fully demo that because it didn't matter because I didn't expect us to do it today. Um, but it's all just like a preparation um, to set up for the arm balance, uh, which is fun to work for. But yeah, that was just, you kind of had to lower. So the importance of doing wow, well, yoga goals <laughs> as many, many years, like many, but it's something to like start on. So the stronger your chaturanga is, Finding that and being able to be in that pose and being able to do um, the push-up. A lot of it, too, is core. People always focus so much on just the feeling of arms, but really it's like part of the vinyasas and doing them so much. Again, like I kind of said before, just like not just kind of collapsing down into a, a chaturanga, but one piece. And yes, obviously my arms are, arms are going to work. Shoulders are going to work for sure. Chest. Um, triceps but to maintain stability because if you ever want to add lifting a leg into balances or stuff like that it helps that you are coming from your center to help kind of counterbalance um all your weight so that was the purpose of that but yeah i don't i apologize i don't have a proper yoga i don't think there is a yoga term it's just more of a preparation for another pose ideally but yeah does that make sense <laughs> i'm hoping yes yeah Awesome. No problem. You guys have a great rest of your Friday. I hope you have a great weekend. Stay cool. Drink lots of water. Are there any other questions? All good. Head it out. Oh, this craziness.
All right, you guys, have a good one. Thank you so much. Oh, great that you joined class today. Awesome. So happy to have you. Well, welcome, you guys. Well, I'll be back again next Friday, 930, same time. Hope you all have a good one. See you all soon.